Campbell. Ken has worn many hats in rowing over the years and found a passion for umpiring after obtaining his RCA umpire's license in 1980. Some of the highlights in his outstanding umpiring career include being the chief umpire at the Royal Canadian Henley Regatta for seven years and umpiring at three World Rowing Championships and three Pan Am Games. Off the regatta course, Ken was a well-respected leader and strong advocate for the advancement of the umpiring program and umpire education. Al Morrow After a successful career as an athlete, Al transitioned to coaching. He was named a national team coach in 1986, and two years later he moved back to his home province of Ontario to head the National Rowing Team Training Centre in London. Al became head coach of the women's national team in 1990 and would lead the program to an unprecedented run of success over the next 14 years. Under his leadership, Canadian rowers won a combined 15 world championship and eight Olympic medals. Claude Saunders. Following his retirement from competitive rowing, Claude became president of the Leander Boat Club in 1949 and held the position for 31 years. This was his first of many leadership positions in the Canadian rowing community. Claude would become one of the most influential builders in the history of rowing in Ontario. Some of his biggest roles and accomplishments as a builder include a 40-year stint as chair of the Royal Canadian Henley Regatta, founder of the CSSRA, chair of the CSSRA Championship Regatta, President of the Canadian Amateur Association of Oarsmen and President of Cora. The 1930s Leander Men's Eight. Over the decade of the 1930s, the Leander Men's Eight was a dominant force. They won the bronze medal at the first ever British Empire Games in their hometown of Hamilton in 1930 and two years later competed in the 1932 Olympics in Los Angeles. The crew won the bronze medal at the Los Angeles Olympics and four years later competed in the 1936 Olympics in Berlin. Throughout the decade, they also won the Royal Canadian Henley Regatta four times and qualified for the 1940 Olympics. Ned Hanlon. Ned Hanlon was a rowing pioneer and Canadian sporting legend. He's widely regarded as Canada's first individual sporting hero and considered the father of the modern rowing technique. In 1880, Ned won the Rowing World Championships, becoming Canada's first individual world champion in any sport. He held the world championship title for four years and would go on to win an estimated 300 races during his career while losing only six. Marnie McBean. After getting her start in rowing with the Argonaut Rowing Club and Western University, Marnie began a historic national team career in 1989. A few years later, she was paired with Kathleen Heddle and the duo would go on an unparalleled run of success throughout the 1990s. Overall, Marnie would go on to win four Olympic medals, including three golds, eight World Rowing Championship medals, two Pan Am Games gold medals, and she was the overall World Cup singles champion in 1994. At the end of her rowing career, Marnie had won either an Olympic or World Championship medal in every possible boat class.